All right, so we're gonna make a super easy recipe here that um, pretty much everybody should have these ingredients at home during this time. What do you got? So we, I'm using mong dal, but actually this is beans or lentils. You can honestly use whatever beans or lentils you have on hand. And it will be an equal part of beans or lentils and equal part of rice. And again, you can use whatever rice you want. So I'm using two cups of lentils and two cups of rice. And this will make a big, like crazy big batch, okay? So what we're making the final recipe is actually kitchari. So it's a very healing Ayurvedic recipe from India. And it's amazing spices. And, yes. and it's super simple. But again, you know, not everybody will have the type of beans that are being used for kitchari but just use whatever you have on hand, right? And then, although this is a simple recipe, the one thing that you will have to do is soak this, preferably for 24 hours, but if you don't have that time, at least soak it for eight hours. So if you get this ready in the morning, first thing in the morning, that's what we are doing right now. By the time dinner time comes, you will be ready to cook it, okay? so. Mix equal part of beans and equal part of rice, soak it, cover it with water, put a lid on it and let it sit for at least eight hours. Happy dance! Happy dance! Things are getting serious. I've got my apron on. It's time to cook. So we soaked our beans and our rice for about eight hours now. So it's important to strain it and wash it. You definitely don't want to be cooking your rice and beans in the soaking water. A few reasons. You know what the reasons are? What? Do you want to know? Yeah. All right. Tell us. Well, first, the beans and the rice release enzymes that are not necessarily easy to digest by our human body. So you're washing them off. And secondly, because it's dirty, right? You never know. You want to wash everything you're eating. Everything, fruits, vegetables. Especially now, sorry. But we're washing everything anyway. Yes. Even our bread. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a little bit of humor. Okay. That's a lot of rice and beans. That's that like is. enough to feed, I'm gonna say an Indian family because it is an Indian dish. And they have large families. Yes, all our Indian friends. We love them all. Okay, so we washed it. We're gonna put it back in the pot and hopefully not spill much of it. Under pressure. Oh, just a little teasing. bit of spillage. A little bit of spillage. Get messy with it. Good. Okay. And now we're going to put clean water, cold clean water, and you want to cover the rice and beans. Maybe extra five inches above the rice and beans. I'm gonna put water in there, and we can always add more. We're on. We're on. So we turned our rice and beans on, medium high, and it's cooking. Okay. And meanwhile, you can prep your veggies. So what kind of veggies you're gonna put into it? It's totally up to you. Whatever is available in the store right now, <laughs> because honestly, normally we would put peas in it, in it, but there was no frozen peas in the store. So we are improvising. We're using celery. We're using bok choy. Um, we will be putting some carrot and zucchini in there, but whatever your heart desires. It's a great clean out your fridge recipe. <laughs> it sure is. Look at pro chopper here. Master chef Zeus, you should be on one of those shows. Mm, not quite. <laughs> I think you're supposed to curl your fingers under somehow. There's some certain tips for you. Know. Beautiful. And don't be shy with the vegetables. Put quite a bit in it. Considering the rice and beans you have. <laughs> don't get shy. I do prefer kitchari with lots of uh, veggies in it. 
In India, it's not so much. I don't think there's really any. Is sometimes there? Sometimes with carrots, yeah. Sometimes yeah. a little bit, like little pieces of carrots, sometimes maybe. Maybe peas? No. I think carrots is all that we I've usually had peas see. In Have you? Yes, I did. I think it's a very open recipe. You can honestly put whatever you want into it. It's all about the spices, I have to say, and we'll get to it next. Get going on here. That's a lot of coconut. That's a lot of coconut oil because we have a lot of beans and rice here. <laughs> All right. So next up, we got spices. Yes. So blurry. There we go. And this is cooking, and it probably needs to cook for a good 20 minutes. However, if you're cooking harder beans like black beans, kidney beans, that will require more time. So honestly, for kitchery, it's best to choose uh, either lentils or dal and you know, smaller things, smaller things. Or pre-cook your beans first. Canned beans I was gonna say, what about well. canned beans? Cause some people might not have access to Smoking happening. Oh, <laughs> something, what is that on there? <laughs> that means a piece of rice. <laughs> All right, we hope you know some firefighters. I do. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we chopped all our veggies and now we're gonna get the spices ready, okay? This is the fun part. I really enjoy this one. I really enjoy filming it too. I'm just eating. <laughs> the nice um, thing about uh, this is, is I really, usually I don't measure it, I just go for it. But for this purpose, I will measure it and we will put it on um, into the post. So I'm putting a, about, this is just a little bit about, uh, I think teaspoon and something. So a teaspoon and a half of cumin seeds. And I have to say like the more, the better. Like you can't really, I, for me personally, when I make it, I like extra spices in it to really get flavor. <laughs> more the better. Oh, there Still you go. Like, yeah. More, yeah. more, more, more. Okay. And we are gonna let them kind of popcorn, if I can explain it that Sizzle way. A little. You want them to pop, but you don't want to burn them. I don't know if they're gonna pop with that much coconut oil in your pan. You're doubting me? <laughs> no, you're doubting me. It'll happen. It'll Make happen. it pop. Make it pop. All good. And why do we do this? Well, because it makes the dish nice and flavorful. You know, the spices are really what makes this dish. So don't be afraid of putting quite a bit in there. In all ways, like obviously the flavor, but also the healing benefits of it as well. Yes. We are not making our kitchery spicy today. So there's not gonna be any chili or any like hot curry powder in it. Just because again, kitchery should be a fairly healing uh, dish. But if you like spice, feel free to put it in there. Or just add more ginger. It kind of gives more of that, that heated spice too, which true. I like. And we have a big piece of ginger today to add into it. Right, Nikki? Right. Where is my spatula? That's a great question. I what? had one here. I didn't have oh, oh, there it is. You were using it for your veggies. And I get blamed. I don't touch anything with the camera. I don't touch anything. I did not blame. <laughs> this is what happens when we are locked in the house for a couple of days together. Quarantine, <laughs> yeah. Pick at each other. Come on. It's not that bad. Are we just going to let people watch it cook the whole time? No, we can turn it off for a bit. Did it start sizzling? It did start sizzling. And you know something I was going to say is that normally I would put uh, mustard seed in it as well. But we actually don't have any. <gasps> I know. So I will put it in a recipe, and if you have it, definitely put it in. But uh, if you don't, not a big deal. It's a make or break. Come on. And uh, you know, Just at this point, you know what? Go make your own kitchery then. That's it. I'm not getting any kitchery. Um, at this point, I would turn the heat off because you don't want to burn anything, right? I have done it. I've experienced yes. it. And then you have to start all over. You have to start from the beginning. So if you find that it's getting a little too um, dark, the seeds, 
then just take it off of the heat altogether. It literally smells like popcorn. <laughs> it's trying to burn because that's usually how the spices smell. Am I right? Right? That's this right. That's right. We've done it. Um, all right. And uh, I'm putting the ginger, the fresh ginger, into it right now. And the oil is quite hot, so it will still keep cooking. Okay. And you can literally put this whole big chunk. <laughs> Obviously grate it. Don't just throw it in there. <laughs> Whoever would get this big piece would probably not be happy with it. Unless you. they like spicy. Yeah. Oh my god, we've been inside for too long. Okay. Getting a little silly. I'm gonna put it back in here. All right, out of spices, whatever you have at home. So definitely, definitely, definitely turmeric. And that's such a healing spice, healing herb that don't be shy, put quite a bit in there. It's interesting, I always add mine. I just, it's really interesting to watch you do it. I always add mine into the rice after. I do all the spices first and then when I... And that's why you don't cook in this house. Just kidding, you can put it there anytime you want. Just don't burn it. That's why my trick of adding it at the very end, it doesn't burn it. Okay, and I'm gonna put some curry powder because uh, we are a little low on other spices. Hmm? Is that spicy? No, this one is a mild curry. We have some curry powders and chili powders and such lingering around the house from India. And let me tell you, they're Ooh, they are mighty. They're okay, the wrong. If you have coriander, ground coriander, put it there as well. If you don't, <laughs> don't. If put you it want there. to, it's good to know. And we're going to put also ground turmeric. And, uh, I mean, ground cumin because we like cumin. Right, Nikki? You like cumin? Yeah. Because. You know, who doesn't like to smell like an um, Indian boy, Oh my right? gosh, I swear every single time I go to yoga, I smell like curry powder. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay with it, it's good for us. All right, so once you have this mixture done, you just set it aside and you will wait until um, the beans and rice are cooked. So everything is sitting aside. We have our veggies cut, we have our spices ready, and I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen and I'll be back with you once this is ready to go. <laughs> I should have got you like two seconds ago. She was like, okay, friend. Yes, you go? And I well, our uh, rice and beans have uh, grown. Taken over our kitchen. <laughs> And um, come on, people! I told you, like, who wants to come for dinner? It's unfortunate. We're... Anyone welcome? <laughs> uh, we will have to do some social distancing. <laughs> Anyhow, now it's time to add the vegetables. Um, I'm doing the math here. <laughs> it's just I'm like this, but I'm gonna work my magic. During the cooking time, I had to actually add more water into it, and you might have to do it too. So you just have to monitor it and. We like our kitchen a little bit soupier, so it's up to you how much water you add. Really, if you would like it more as a, um, what would you say, like a porridge? Yeah, it goes or even or like soup. Yeah, it's just kind of drier. This is an awesome meal prep. Um, no kidding, for like <laughs> what's like two weeks. <laughs> no, but not literally talking about this one. But when I used to train like for ten hours a day. This honestly was a go-to like meal prep for myself because it's great cold as well. I, I actually used to eat it cold. All right, I'll add as much of this as I can, but I can promise it will all fit, which is perfectly fine. Once some of it cooks down, you can probably add some more maybe. We'll see how this goes. You just need some bigger pots in your kitchen. I don't here. have a bigger pot. We're gonna get so many two of us, right? So <laughs> no. you don't really need a huge bar. Why do we need so much kitchery? Um, well, well, yeah. Is this the ratio that you're putting in the recipe that it would actually make? Uh, no, oh, no, okay. I probably so tripled. Is this like, you the... probably tripled yes. it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so if you have a household of four. Mm -hmm. But that's the nice thing about it, right? No, like it if is you great. make lots of it, it's a really lovely meal. So and it freezes well as well. Managed to make them fit. Managed. So next step is adding salt into 
it. And again, you might probably think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of salt, but that's a lot of <laughs> I was pitching. actually thinking that. And I was like, whoa, yeah. whoa. But and it's not really like two in. Yeah. And also when you're eating plant-based, you're not really getting a ton of salt. At least we don't eat a lot. Like we don't salt our food or anything. We're getting it obviously from the foods we eat, but yes, you don't get tons of sodium. You know, there's sodium in salt, which interested. is amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're gonna use salt, don't use table salt. That's my tip for today. Make sure that you use good quality salt. And you know, I was once told that salt should be alive. And I was like, what does it mean alive? And you can really tell that this is not dead soul. This is living soul. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it actually, if you could touch it, it's almost moist mm -hmm. feeling. That's so this fun. one has minerals in it. Um, minerals that we need in our body can recognize, where on the other hand, the typical table salt, the white stuff, is depleted of minerals and then they just add chemical iodine into it so your body basically doesn't know what to do with it and whenever we use um you know ingredients like this we always link it if we're putting the recipe up then we link it in and there's the paint of spices going in okay mix it all in there 